Assalamualaikum everyone. Today um, we are going to do one of my most popular uh, dishes that is uh, the chicken pusin uh, with masala corn and uh, we have the pasta salad as well and the mango shake. So it's going to be a, a more like a full restaurant meal but it's also going to be on the healthy side because uh, everyone knows chicken pusin we're going to be doing we mostly every time do is a deep fried chicken cuisine. But because of everyone being health conscious, uh, we are going to be doing a healthy chicken cuisine. So it's not going to be deep fried, it's going to be baked. Okay? So I hopefully everyone's ready with their pens and paper and everything, whoever wants to write down. I know at the end, Fatma Auntie and uh, the uh, admin is going to again show you the, the recipe and the ingredients. But if those who want to write it down, please be ready. Okay? So uh, for the chicken pusin, this is going to feed up to four people, okay? So it's for one household, okay? So we have uh, one whole chicken cut into eight pieces and it's uh, mostly the, the small chicken. Yes, so I have mine already cut into eight pieces and uh, it's, it has to be with skin. So chicken pusin has to, the chicken has to be with the skin on it cut into eight pieces okay yeah. so it's not marinated we'll marinate it together it's just washed and cut into eight pieces okay uh in uh, in, in in england i know you get the small chicken yeah in in toronto it's a bit hard looking difficult buying the small baby chickens like like small ones yeah okay uh so we'll start marinating it and before we start marinating it, we, we uh, preheat the oven into 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know it, what, what would it be equivalent to, to, the, to, to the British one. Okay, so we, the first thing we'll put is two tablespoons ginger garlic paste. That is one and two tablespoons ginger garlic. Okay, and then we'll have uh, one tablespoon of uh, paprika. Now, for those in London or in Africa, like like East Africa, you could buy the tropical heat paprika. That is really good. We don't get it here. At times, we do get it from Bismila. So those in in Toronto, if you want to buy the tropical heat paprika powder, you get it at Bismila Grocery in Richmond Hill. And is that what it's called in London? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's, it's the the brand is tropical heat. Okay okay but it's paprika yeah it's just known as paprika powder okay and then we have one teaspoon of black uh, pepper so you could you could either use the powder or you could you could crush it yourself in a uh, in one of those you know the african what is it called quinoa so one teaspoon black powder okay and then we have uh, two teaspoons salt okay but salt is up to you it's it's to taste yeah one two okay and then we have two tablespoons of oil one two okay and then we have now the so I put soya sauce that is dark superior soya sauce. Yeah, for those of you in uh, Toronto, if you want to see what I use, I'll just show it to you. Okay, can you see it? This is the this is the bottle I use, and I buy it from No Frills or you get it Freshco. Mostly all grocery stores have it, but make sure it's dark soya sauce. Okay, so it's two tablespoons. Right. One, two. Okay. And then it's two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. One, two, and three. Okay. We'll mix all of this. 
the skin has to be on so when you when you go to your uh, to the to the meat shop you you tell them you want one chicken cut into eight pieces with skin on and leave the wings attached to the to, to the white piece to the breast chicken yet yeah? and how many chickens have you got there so it's one one whole chicken a big one cut into eight yeah now normally I would marinate this overnight and then put it in the oven the next day. So this, so you get the marination nice and Thanks. so this this is the color how it's supposed to look. Am I too fast or am I doing a good speed? And can you yep. can you guys yep. understand me? Perfect. You're perfect. Okay, now that we have the chicken marinated, I have my uh, my baking tray which I put foil on it, aluminum foil, and I'm just going to grease it. If you can all see me greasing it with my brush. So someone just asked a question, and that is, do you need to put cuts in the chicken? No, you don't. No, if it was if it, if you were doing the chicken tikka tandoori on the on the barbecue, then yes. Yeah. So you brush it with oil, do you? Yeah, just lightly so that the chicken doesn't stick to it. Okay, so I'm just going to place them. So this way you can also see how the chicken looks. So no oil in the chicken? No, we did put, we put, uh, we put uh, four tablespoons oil, yeah? Okay. How long do you bake it for? So from um, around 35 to 40 minutes in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to put this uh, into the oven, which is three heated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Now in the oven, Musa, was it covered? No. So it's, uh, I can show it to you. There it is. Okay. So when Musa said 400 degrees, ladies in the UK, it's about 200 degrees here, 200, 204. Yeah. So if you don't want to bake the chicken, what's the other option? So if you don't want to bake the chicken, then you have to deep fry it. Oh, not very healthy, is it? That's, that's the reason why we are baking it today. Well, or you could try, uh, I haven't done it yet, but if you, if you want, you can try it on the barbecue. But I, I, I doubt it how it will be because the skin is going to stick to the grill. Okay. Yeah. So are we are we ready for stage two? Yes. Yeah. All ready. Okay. So now we're going. What we're going to do is we're going to do the poutine sauce. Yeah. 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 Okay. So so we for the poutine sauce we need two ounces of butter. Okay. So I I take one hip tablespoon as one ounce, or you could use, uh, or you can use an ice cream scoop. A full ice cream scoop is one ounce. Okay. okay. That, must be, that must be two tablespoons then. So yeah, so so two ounce. Okay. And the pan is heated to what, medium? Yeah, it's a medium. Yeah. Okay, and then we say two to three tablespoons of oil. So that's three tablespoons of oil. And if we went to fry this after, wow. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, now that our butter is uh, heated nicely, now you could use butter or margarine. People in East Africa use blue band. In, in Canada, we hardly get anything from Kenya. So I prefer using the salted butter here. All right, let's see my spin different things. So now we are going to add two tablespoons of paprika powder. Can you see that? Yes. One and two. Now I have little bits, I'll just add it in. So two <laughs> tablespoons, and you can see how it sizzles. Musa, mm -hmm. did you say salted butter? Yes. And then we'll add half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then uh, we have, we'll put one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now, so if you, if you have two chickens, then you double this amount, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then half teaspoon of uh, salt. It's looking yummy. Very, very it is, and it smells really good as well. Now, uh, the recipe I sent uh, to Fatma and earlier about the cuisine sauce, I hadn't uh, put the soya sauce, so I'll put one, one tablespoon of the dark soya sauce. Okay, I wanted to go back on something as well. Did you? Yeah, do you know earlier you added soya sauce to the chicken? For the marination, yeah. how much was it? Because I didn't put down how much there. Oh, how much soy sauce? Yeah. So we put uh, we put uh, we put two tablespoons of the dark soy sauce for the marination. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the thing is sizzling. Uh, so I'll, I'll switch it off now. Otherwise, the paprika is going to burn. Yeah. So once sizzled, turn off. So now what we'll do is we will uh, we'll have a look at the chicken. So you see the chicken nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does everybody see the color? Yeah. So the skin has to get crispy. So how would you know that? I mean, what what is there any way of easily knowing? So what you do is you see if the chicken's gone firm. Yeah, it's it's ready and, and it's got to be approximately this color. Okay. Look, I don't know if you can hear it. It's crispy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Someone's asking a question. Can we use regular soya sauce if we don't have dark soya sauce? Yeah, you could use. Yeah, you could use the regular soya sauce. I prefer the dark soya sauce because it has more flavor and, and it's got that color as well in it, right? So when it was in the oven, did you turn it? No, I didn't. So, so now the chicken, you dip it into the cuisine sauce. And then I'll drizzle some on it. Okay. If you fold those in front of, please pass the name around. It's Musa Yosha. Yeah. 